Civic Nation is one of the greatest success stories in the automotive world. I'm Bradley Hasemeyer, and I want to talk to you today about the Honda Civics that pushed the brand to the promised land, and a few that should be brought behind the barn and shop. Starting off our list of the five best Civics ever made, the fifth gen Civic hails from the golden age of the JDM. The cutesy Honda Civic Del Sol spin off it inspired also figures into this mix. Peppy VTEC engines powered the bad boys of tuning from 1991 to 1995. This lightweight, agile, fuel economical, and affordable Minnow won Japan's Car of the Year award twice. The hatchback trim specifically makes sense for additional space while also becoming known as one of the best hot hatchbacks ever made for spirited driving. 96 to 2000s 6 Gen Civic hold their value well. This is the model that paved the way for the Civic to become an affordable, reliable, and surprisingly fun car. Now it can be seen as a teen starter car for sure, but don't we all want to be that young and free with nowhere to be? A stripped down and durable simple late 90s Civic reminds you of those high school years you always wanted, and if you were lucky enough, got. The Strong as Nails 8th generation Civic was a complete game changer. The Civic SI is the phenom of the bunch and is an excellent combination of safety, reliability, technology, and quality. Pro tip, get the manual so you can eke out all the fun from every one of those 197 horses. Now currently we're in the 11th generation of Civics, which are getting pretty expensive, so let's reminisce back to the 10th gen from 2017 to 2020. That generation has most of the same tech from the current, but not quite as steep of pricing. The aggressive Type R trim is the hottest hatch choice with its over-the-top styling. 11th generation 2023 Civics start at 24845 and top tier 2023 Honda Civic Sport Touring CVs start at 32345 so scale back a little bit and enjoy a 10th gen. The 9th Gen Civic is largely overlooked and doesn't deserve to be. It has an excellent balance of technology, performance, and practicality. The leader of the bunch is the SI. Get one, because you deserve its reworked spoiler and different sway bars. Many young owners fit aftermarket SIs with body kits, massive wings, and loud exhaust on their cars. They're fun, they're affordable. What else do you want? All right, now for the old Yeller models, the Civics that bore you or just spread general sad eeyore Better take some Zoloff before buying an 8th generation Civic. They ran from 06 to 09. Its great reputation and long history of reliability can be a deceiving facade as its image of practicality sometimes masks cracked engine blocks. Yikes. So, Zoloff's not your thing? Grab some beer goggles before buying a 2001 7th Gen Civic. That should be your tactic. This stereotypical bare-bones commuter car is the most recalled car of all time. The cause? The automatic transmission had so many problems, this makes an automatically terrible choice. The first generation 2003 to 2005 Honda Civic Hybrid had its head in the right place, but saving the polar bears wasn't worth this flop, which saw battery replacements and CVT tranny issues costing several thousands of dollars, which in all likelihood is more than the value of the car by now. The second gen Civic Hybrid, which ran from 2006 to 2011, had perplexing issues with both the tires and battery wearing out at an alarming rate. The brilliant gas mileage and slightly sexier than the Prius appeal doesn't quite make it worth that hassle. 2016 was a bad year for Civic. The 10th gen model was the first year of a redesign and the car maker has yet to fix most of the issues on a mass scale. It was too small for taller passengers and had issues with Bluetooth, AC problems, dim-witted infotainment system, and other electrical issues make this worthy of a mercy execution. Or, or just avoid buying it, I guess. That, that could work too. So there you go, the best and worst of the iconic Honda Civic. I'm Bradley, see you next time.